Hello everyone, welcome back to Southern Delight. Today we are going to be working on our Halloween DIY Part 2. Um, if you have been following me, you know in the last episode we created this beautiful centerpiece. Um, as I told you before, I'm getting ready to decorate for my husband's um, birthday party, which we're having a Halloween party. So we've tried to theme it around the colors of Frankenstein. This is where this piece right here is kind of like where I got most of my inspiration from and the colors and things that I chose. But I wanted something really fun and upbeat. Now my husband, he likes things a little bit more um, the horror side of things and I like cutesy things. So what I have done today is I'm going to show you how to do two cute little party plates where you could put your food items on. And um, I have chosen some fabric. This is one of them with eyeballs. This is for my husband. And this one has pumpkins on it. This one is for me. You can pick these, um, this fabric up at Walmart or if you have some scrap material lying around, you could use that. Um, you can find it in different craft stores, fabric stores, that sort of thing. And it doesn't have to be very big, just big enough that it'll cover one of these plates. And uh, the plates you can get, um, most dollar stores have them, um, Walmart stores carry them as well. And you will need a thing of Mod Podge, rubbing alcohol, and an applicator. I like these little spongy applicators, they seem to cover very well and um, they're easy to maneuver and then when you get through they don't cost a whole lot so you can toss them out because the Mod Podge will make them hard and once you use them once, they're not any good. So, we'll go ahead and get started on this project. Um, taking your plate, peeling off the stickers. That's what we got the rubbing alcohol for, is to clean the plate. Because you'll get a lot of fingerprints on it. Sometimes these stickers leave some residue and so forth. So you want to clean your plate pretty well before you uh, get out there. And mainly, you want to be concerned about this back part, because this is the part we're going to be putting the Mod Podge on. And just take it and just kind of shine her up. Run a little swipe through, get all those fingerprints off of it. And once we finish there, I probably should do this because I'm carrying you outside. Um, should wait till I get outside, but I'll give her another, another swipe. Another cleaning before um, we get Mod Podge on her. But if you'll follow me, I'll take you out back. I kind of try to go in one motion. because. Okay, we have let our plates dry um, overnight. Actually, these have been drying probably for two nights. And uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and trim this fabric off of it. Show you a neat little trick here. If you don't have one of these, um, you definitely need to invest in one. This is one of the neatest gadgets ever. I use this to cut a lot of my mesh for my um, mesh wreaths that I do. But it comes in handy for so many different little projects. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to try to pronounce this. How about I show you? F-I-S-K-A-R-S is um, what it is, but you can get these at any Michael's store, Hobby Lobby. Um, they're usually over there where the ribbon is at. And um, like I said, it's a good investment. And all you have to do is just go around and be careful because these are sharp. Let's trim off that. I'll try to get it as close underneath it as you can. Put Mod Podge on it and um, get up underneath some of those edges that didn't take. If it needs trimming a little bit more, you'll use your scissors and go around there. But I think we'll be able to tuck most of that in but um there's our other plate here that we're going to be doing but we're getting ready to go back outside and put that second layer on shed out here let's fix them and call it 
his palace. You would think it was his palace. <laughs> he would have a fit if he knew I had this stuff out here. All right. And this Mod Podge does not smell very good. But we have a fan blowing behind us, so we're going to use this little workstation. But let's give this stuff a second coat here. Just kind of... <laughs> you don't smell good, that's for sure. Someone might need to develop some of this in some fruit scents. Maybe a strawberry or watermelon fruit scented Mod Podge. complete this project. We've let them dry, we've trimmed them all out, and they are ready to go, and I'm very pleased with them. They are so cute. Little eyeballs. And then the little pumpkins. But we've got them all trimmed up. And actually, I know I told you um, I use scissors to trim them. No, a razor blade works a lot better. Um, that's one of the tips that I learned while I was out there. But we're going to do a little twist on these and we'll also show you a shortcut to a really cute party idea. Like I said, this is for my husband who wants the uh, scary type of things for Halloween. So, but we're going to cutesify his little scary tactic. We're going to take this and I saw these in Walmart. Actually, I was browsing around Walmart. You know how they have the center section and they have all of their goodies, their brownies and cookies and things like that in the center aisle. Well, I was looking at one of them, and it looked as if they had these in one of the packages. Now, I don't know what Walmart uses for theirs, but try this. This might be a really cute shortcut, and voila, guess what? It was, and it's really fun. But you can buy these little bikes in any grocery store, Walmart, wherever. And there are all these little bike sizes, and there are your little brownies. We're going to start with those. And then I walked across to the bakery section, and guess what I found? They had eyeballs for cupcakes. How cute is this? Now, put this out of the packet. Look at this. Isn't that just adorable? So what we're going to do is take our eyeballs, and we're going to take and seal them to these little cupcakes. And sticking with my theme, I went and got some purple icing. And I'm going to put some of this icing on these brownies. But first off, we'll brownie here. We're going to take this icing. Put that top off. You might have to cut yours off. I was playing with it a little bit earlier. And just take it here. And just go around that little eyeball. And you have some very tasty little bites that only take about five minutes. Kids love them. Grown up approved. I tried them out on my son. And he approved it. The little eyeballs are their gummy. So they are a little bit chewy. But it served its purpose quite well. We're going to do up a lot of these for our party favors. Well, not party favors, but for our little snack treats. We're going to do up a little, a lot of these for our little snack treats at the party. Let's go around there. Okay. I love decorating for parties. It's so much fun. Have 
but you can fill up your whole plate. I'm not going to do all of them right now. I just wanted to show you that cute little idea. And to go along with this, what I had done was I went to the Dollar Tree, which I love going to the Dollar Tree at this time of year. I picked up this little candle holder and I took a piece of styrofoam and I hot glued it down in the bottom. And then they had these cute little suckers. I told you I was trying to keep with a Frankenstein thing. Um, they had little witches hats and little Frankensteins. And what I did was just take those suckers, stick them down in the styrofoam, and it made kind of like a little cute thing. And what I'm gonna do is put it in the center of my plate right there. And then I'll finish up the eyeballs and the icing on the brownies and make a little cute little snack plate there. Then for my second hack, we did the little pumpkins. And what I found in Walmart while I was walking around were these caramel apples. And who doesn't love caramel apples at this time of year? And what I did was I took these little apples, pulled them out of this packet here, and I've had these little bags lying around. And you can find these at the Dollar Tree. You can find these in Walmart um, in their party supply. And um, I got these, and what I did was just pull those out of the packet, put them in here, take you some ribbons, cut the ribbon, tie them on here, and voila, you have caramel apples for your party. And it makes a nice little tray and plate here for your party. But those will be some of the things that I'll be serving that are quick and easy for the party. And I just wanted to share those tips with you. But if you like what you see, I have many more ideas coming your way. I think I have a couple of more episodes for the Halloween um, segment, and that will be wrapping it up. This is um, episode number two, and if you are following me and you haven't seen episode number one, if you'll click the subscribe button below, it doesn't cost you a thing. Um, however, if you do subscribe, what it does is it'll pull all of my videos together into one where you can watch each episode, because a lot of times I'll do like episode one, episode two, and so forth. And that way you can kind of follow me through and then pick up on several tricks and ideas and things that I have. But, and also, if you like what I do, hit that like button. And if you have some comments for me or some ways that I can better improve on things, just let me know. But until then, thank you and have a good night.